Welcome back to my channel, the freshest guy up in town. Welcome back to my channel, thanks for sticking around. What's going on everybody, welcome back. My name is Bradley. You probably recognize me from my sneaker videos or from Jacob Covering. This video is gonna be a little different though. I wanna take an educational route. I wanna teach you about the Panthera Tigris, which is commonly known as the Tiger. These big cats are massive. You probably recognize them from their orange fur with black stripes, which actually the stripes are also in their skin. So even if you shave them, they still have them. And that is because they rely, they're ambush hunters. They rely on stealth and they're able to blend in with the shade of bamboo and stuff. A couple of fun facts about tigers is that their typical gestation period is three to four months. It could be 90 to 120 days, give or take. And only around 50% of cubs actually make it to adulthood. Like your house cat, when they're born, they are blind, so they rely on scent to track their mother. And unfortunately, most of them succumb to the elements. They are the largest of all big cats. Males can range up to 680 pounds and females can get up to 370. They are solitary creatures, meaning they prefer to live by themselves. They don't like a big pack running around. And the exceptions to this are when they are mating or when they are raising cubs. They are great swimmers that enjoy water, contrary to popular belief. They actually like to cool down, they like to swim. They can also live up to 26 years of age. Like I said, they are ambush hunters. They are surprisingly stealthy for their size and they communicate via scent markings, growls, and chuffs. They can't purr, so they chuff. Tigers can also mate with other big cat species. I'm sure you've heard of a liger if you like Napoleon Dynamite. A male tiger plus a female lion equals a tigon, which to me more closely resembles a lion because the, the stripes aren't as distinct. And a male lion plus a female tiger gets you a liger. These can't reproduce, they're sterile, but they can grow massive. They can get over half a ton. They can imitate calls of other animals. Their saliva is antiseptic, meaning it has healing properties, and they can run up to 37 miles an hour. Granted, they don't have a lot of endurance. There have been nine total recorded subspecies in history. Six of those species are currently living. These are the Sumatran, the Amur, the South Chinese tiger, the Malayan tiger, and the Indo-Chinese tiger, and most popularly, the Bengal tiger. And unfortunately, three species of tigers have gone extinct. The Bali tiger, which is around Bali, the Javan tiger, and the Caspian tiger, which you're gonna find around Iraq when it was living. Their habitat is surprisingly diverse. The larger subspecies tend to favor colder climates like Russia, Northern China, areas like that. And the smaller subspecies are gonna prefer warmer climates like, like India, Indonesia, and Malaysia. You're, and you're also gonna find them in savannas, rainforests, mangrove swamps, and occasionally you're gonna see them in mountain ranges. And unfortunately, there has been a rapid decline in tiger population. As I stated earlier, three species have in fact went extinct, and currently the Siberian, the Bengal tiger, the Indo-Chinese, Malaysian are all considered endangered. And to fit that criteria, there needs to be a 50 to 70% population decrease over the last 10 years. They need to have a total geographic area of less than 5,000 square kilometers and the population size is less than 2,500 adults. The Sumatran and South Chinese tiger have the worst prospects. Both of these are considered critically endangered, and to fit this criteria, they need to have a recorded population reduction rate, meaning they can't breed as fast as they're dying. There needs to be less than 50 mature specimens worldwide, and they are suffering from severe habitat fragmentation. These are also at the highest risk of extinction. And over the last six years, we have seen a significant drop off in tiger population. In 1970, we had around 40,000 species, and we also seen the Caspian tiger go extinct. In 1980, we were down to 30,000. In 19, and only 10 years after the Caspian went extinct, the Javan tiger went extinct. In 1990, we were looking at a total of 20,000 specimens worldwide. And in, and in 1990, the South Chinese tiger went extinct. And from the years 2000 to 2020, we have seen population size go from 5,000 total specimen down to around 3,500. I hope you were able to learn something from that video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. I will list a bunch of links in the description. So go make sure to go check those out.